Good morning to Nobel Forum and the press conference uh, for the announcement of this year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine. So what I will do is to first read the announcement in Swedish uh, and then in English and then we will proceed to some scientific background information uh, and then we will open up for questions. Nobelförsamlingen vid Karolinska institutet har idag beslutat att Nobelpriset i fysiologi eller medicin år 2016 ska tilldelas Yoshinori Osumi för hans upptäckter av mekanismer för autofagi. The Nobel Assembly at Karolinska Institute has today decided to award the 2016 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine to Yoshinori Usumi for his discoveries on mechanisms for autophagy. <coughs> so with that, I would like to leave the word to Professor Maria Masucci, who will describe a little bit about the science behind this prize. So please, Maria. Yoshinori Osumi was born in Fukuoka, Japan in 1945. He started the seminal work for which he is awarded the Nobel Prize at Tokyo University and he is currently an emeritus professor at the Tokyo Institute of Technology in Yokohama. This year's Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine is awarded for discoveries concerning autophagy. The word autophagy is derived from the Greek language and means self-eating, to eat oneself. In the mythology of many ancient human cultures, the self-eating dragon is a symbol of self-reliance and renewal. In the human body, self-eating autophagy is a process by which our cells reuse their own components to release energy and to build new functional parts. Autophagy was first observed in the 1960s, soon after the discovery of the lysosome, an organelle that contains the enzymes used by the cells to disassemble proteins, sugars, and lipids into their reusable building blocks. In addition to the lysosome, scientists observed another quite different type of organelle composed of a double membrane surrounding some cytoplasmic material. They also observed that vesicles appear in the cytoplasm of cells under stress, such as during starvation. The vesicles extended into double membrane that progressively engulfed a portion of the cytoplasm, forming what became known as an autophagosome. The autophagosome later fused with a lysosome where the content was broken down by lysosomal enzymes. During the next 30 years, little more became known about autophagy, the mechanism for the process, and the significance of autophagy for physiology or disease remained a mystery. The situation started to change in the 1990s, where Yoshinori Osumi decided the pro to study the process of autophagy in baker's yeast. Yeast cells contain a single large lysosome, known as the vacuole. Osumi found a clever way to visualize the accumulation of autophagosomes in the vacuole by making starved cells unable to uh, degrade the content of the vacuole. 
he then used this method to search among thousands of mutants for yeast cells that had lost the capacity to activate autophagy. This ingenious strategy led to the discovery that autophagy is regulated by a large number of genes. As many as 15 essential autophagy genes were identified in the first study published in 1993. Having discovered the autophagy genes, Osumi moved on to the next question, that was to understand how the products of the genes work together. Thanks to this pioneering work, we have today a detailed understanding of the molecular mechanism of autophagy. Osumi showed that stress signals initiate a cascade of events that through the formation of different protein complex control each step in the formation of the autophagosome, from the initial fusion of vesicles to the extension and bending of the membranes at the sequestered the cargo, and finally to the fusion of the autophagosome with the lysosome. Osumi and his colleagues were also the first to identify genes that control autophagy in mammalian cells. This allowed the production of research tools that have transformed autophagy into one of the most intensely studied topics of biomedical research. Thanks to the work of Yoshinori Osumi and many others that followed in his footsteps, we now know that autophagy regulates important physiological function of the cells and that the effects of autophagy are associated with many human diseases. For example, autophagy is required for cell differentiation that give rise to the many different types of cells that constitute our body. By recycling part of the cellular content, autophagy allows our body to cope with starvation and with other types of stress. By capturing invading viruses and bacteria, Autophagy is essential for the body defense against infection. Through the removal of damaged proteins and organelles, autophagy promotes cell renewal. Failure of autophagy is therefore associated with cell aging and with many diseases of old age, such as Alzheimer's disease and type 2 diabetes. Finally, too much autophagy may have undesired effects. In as for example in cancer, where autophagy can promote the growth of tumor cells and the resistance to anti-cancer drugs. The discoveries made by Yoshinori Osumi have been instrumental in revealing the mechanism and significance of a fundamental physiological process. And there is growing hope that this knowledge will lead to the development of new strategies for the treatment of many human diseases. Thank you very much. Uh, so before opening up for questions, um, I would just like to introduce, um, in addition to Maria Masucci, uh, Professor Nils Joran Larsson. Uh, and Anna, Professor Anna Vedell, uh, who is also the chair uh, of the Nobel Committee, and they are here assisting to answer questions. So with that, I open up for questions about uh, this year's Nobel Prize. So... Uh, Yes, I did. I was in touch with uh, Professor Sumi uh, this morning, right after the decision was made. Uh, he, he seemed surprised. The first thing he said was, ah. <laughs> uh, I think he was uh, actually not maybe expecting this, and, and he, he was surprised, but very pleased, and, and asked if he was allowed to leave the building. <laughs> and. Uh, of course, I explained that he would expect a lot of phone calls, and I think he was very, very pleased. So it was very nice to talk to him. Uh, it is eight million Swedish kronor.
Any more questions? Here we have a question. Um, this is the journalist from People's Daily Online. We are very happy that this year there is another Asian uh, Nobel laureate because last year was the uh, Chinese Tu Yo Yo also got the Nobel laureate. Uh, so my question is, what's your comments on the research improvements in Asia, in the medicine area? Yes, I, I think, uh, uh, of course, the Nobel Prize is an international prize uh, and takes no consideration uh, to where uh, anyone is from. And I, I think it is apparent to anyone in science that uh, Asian science is, is uh, growing enormously, uh, not least, of course, in China. Uh, so I think uh, maybe we're seeing the beginning of this. We should remember that the prize we're awarding today were for discoveries that were done in the 90s. Uh, so uh, I think we can expect much more to come. So it's going to be an Asian Nobel laureate next time also. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even we know not decided uh, yet. about that. Thank you. <coughs> here, was there uh, up here? Yeah. Yes, my name is Annika Ostman from the Swedish radio company. Uh, what about, is it Parkinson or cancer, or where do you think it is the most important uh, contribution for the medicine? I, I think I'll let uh, Anna Vedell uh, <laughs> answer that question. Uh, okay, so can you hear me? Yes. So, so uh, this is uh, a prize for basic discoveries, but it's already clear that autophagy is critically involved both in the origin of disease and in our way of handling, counteracting diseases. And this applies to a broad range of diseases such as cancer, neurodegenerative Alzheimer's, as Maria said, inflammatory diseases, diabetes. But exactly how this works in the different uh, disease areas, that is what has been possible to study. Asumi has enabled totally new research areas that are now very active in addressing these questions. Neurodegeneration definitely is an active area, as is cancer. But the prices for the basic knowledge and mechanisms and tools allowing these further research lines that are now exploding. So we can only hope for a broad impact in various diseases. OK, thank you. Uh, more questions? Here is one question. Uh, In terms of applications, are there any concrete trials going on with uh, drugs that are interfering with this system? There are lots and lots of activities of attempts to both stimulate and counteract autophagy. And that it's a very complex biology, but there's a lot of activities. Uh, and the specific ways of really, really tailoring treatment is, we're not really there yet, but it's, it's really ongoing. Many, many clinical trials. But no drugs on the market yet. Well, there are drugs that affect autophagy, uh, and also drugs who, where we didn't really know the mechanism and still don't, but it's that they somehow affect autophagy. But how this specific, specifically work, we don't really have those drugs yet. Maybe one can mention that most of the trials ongoing right now are for cancer. Uh, did we see any one more who wanted to ask anything? Uh, I know there are uh, many eager for interviews that are welcome afterwards. So I think we can then probably conclude this press conference. Thanks so much for coming to Nobel Forum today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.